دير سكن بريب السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مستر أحمد محمود with you today to introduce a new mathematics lesson today إن شاء الله we have a new a first, the first geometry lesson this lesson is unit four lesson one the lesson divided in two two parts today إن شاء الله we are going to take the first part the, the lesson is called medians of a triangle in this lesson إن شاء الله we are going to learn the meaning of median of triangle and the number of medians of triangle and its properties and we are going to solve many problems about this concept let's start the lesson first we need to need to know what the meaning of median of a triangle if we have a triangle like this this triangle divided into six elements okay uh, each line uh, we have here three lines each of them called side okay and we have intersection point of two sides which is called the vertex of triangle now we have already one two three vertices and we have already one two three sides each side is called the base okay if we have like this a point at the middle of a side this point is called mid point of this side again if we have a point at the middle of a side or center of the side this point is called midpoint of a side if we connect between the vertex and the opposite midpoint then this line is called median of a triangle then what the meaning of the median of the triangle the median of the triangle is a line segment drawn from triangle vertex to the middle of the opposite side to this vertex again the line segment connected between vertex and the opposite midpoint now we have how many medians because we have already three vertices one two three then we can draw from each vertex median then we have here three medians okay then any number any triangle included already three medians okay the medians drawn like this this is the first one and by connect this vertex to the opposite midpoint like this we have another median and by connect this vertex by the opposite midpoint like this we get a median like this now we have three medians okay now i notice that the three medians all of them intersect at one point like this this point called point of intersection of medians again this is a property of the medians the medians intersect at one point or we can say that medians of a triangle are concurrent concurrent means intersect at one point again here we have three medians the three medians intersect at one point this concept called the point of concurrence concurrence the point of intersection of medians okay and this is the first theorem with us okay the second rule with us the point of the concurrence divides the median into the ratio one to two from the base okay by looking to this median okay here we have the point of the intersection of point of concurrence this point divides the median into two parts this part part from the direction of the base and this part from the direction of the vertex okay by looking to this part we see that this part is smaller than this part okay the theorem said that this part have this part or the ratio between this one equal uh, to this one the part from the from the base to the part from the vertex equal one to two for example if this part equal 5 centimeters then the other side equal 10 centimeters because 5 times 2 equals 10 another example if this part equal 4 centimeters then the other part 4 times 2 equal 8 centimeters if this part equal for example 4.5 then this part 4.5 times 2 equal 9 centimeters okay now we have the ratio from the side of the midpoint of the, or, or the side of the base from the base to the vertex one to two 
if we reverse the, the ratio from vertex to the base it will be 2 to 1 now we have two ratios from the base 1 to 2 from the vertex 2 to 1 and this is the properties of the medians okay now we have three medians all of them are concurrent concurrent means intersect at one point and this point of concurrence divides the, the ratio by the median by the ratio 1 to 2 from the base okay let's remember the next rule if we have a triangle like this okay and here we have a midpoint in this side this point is called the midpoint and another midpoint in the opposite side if we connect between the two midpoints like this okay this rule we studied before in the first prep we get what this line segment will parallel to the base okay and its length equal half the length of the base like this for example if this line segment equal 5 then the base equal 10 centimeters another uh, again the line segment joining two midpoints of two sides like this okay it parallel to the third side and its length equal half the length of the third side as we see this is the rule the line segment joining two midpoints of two sides in a triangle is parallel to the third side and its length equal half the length of the third side let's start the questions okay the first question with us in this example using data given for each of the following figures find the required below each figure the first one here here we have x y z is a triangle now we see that f here is a midpoint and e here is a midpoint okay since f is a midpoint then this line is a median and since e is a midpoint then this line is a median okay when the median intersect at one point then this point is a point of concurrence that mean in that x d also is the third median because all the medians intersect at one point here this point m which is a point of concurrence okay now we need the length of x m okay by looking to x m x m here this side okay the other side of the median equals four then x m is double four or four times two which is equal eight centimeters now xm here equals eight centimeters because four times two equals eight centimeters yd yd since since xd is a median then yd equal to zd or we can say that d is a midpoint of yz then now we have yz equals 10 then we are going to divide 10 into 5 and 5 then yd equal 5 centimeters the next one number two here we have cd is a median and uh, ae is a median and they intersect at the point of concurrence m okay now we need what first we need ma ma here because this part is a, is a part from the vertex then this part is double three which is six centimeters then this part equals six centimeters md since md is a part from the base from the base direction then this one equal half of eight half of eight which is equal four centimeters m a equals what according to m e again m a when when he said m e equals what of a e then he needs a ratio okay i will 
write a fraction like this okay here by looking to the ratio like this uh, me here is a part from the base then it's equal one unit and ma here is a part from the vertex equals two units okay then me to ae me equals one unit it will be one over ae ae here included two and one which is equal three units then the ratio will be one over three ae again me equals what two ae i need the ratio between me and ae me equal one unit am two units ae will be three units then me to ae equals one over three okay another ratio mc to cd mc to cd here m is a point of concurrence and then this part is one unit and this part is two units md is one mc is two cd is three again md one unit mc two units cd equals three units okay then mc equal two over cd equal three units let's solve the next one number three here okay bc equals 12 okay this one equals 12 okay be equals 9 okay now i need to divide 9 and okay be equals 9 and this one is a median now to divide 9 here this one okay will take one unit and this part will take two units okay now i will divide nine by three units then it will be nine divided by three equal three then em equal three units and mb double of three which is three times two equal six centimeters again here we have me is a part from the base it takes one unit and mb is a part from the vertex equal uh, takes two units uh, since we have be is a whole median i will divide uh, nine divided by three equal three then this part equal three and this one equal three times two which is equal six centimeters the other median I will MD will take one unit and MC two units. Okay, then I'm going to divide MC here equals eight. MC equals eight. Then the part uh, from the vertex equals eight. Then the other part from the base eight divided by two equals four centimeters okay now complete de equals what centimeters de de since de opposite to bc then de equals half of b c like this de and bc they are parallel and ed equal half bc then it will be six centimeters half of 12 equals six centimeters me equals what centimeters me here equals three centimeters md equals what centimeters md equals four centimeters let's solve the next example In this figure, 
uh, we are going to read this one carefully ABC is a triangle in which D is a midpoint as we see here D is a midpoint of BC E is a midpoint of AC E is a midpoint of AC and AD intersect BE at M this point intersection of AD and BE AD equals 6 centimeters and AB equals BE equals 9 centimeters again BE equals 9 and AB equals 9 calculate the parameter of triangle MDE now I need the parameter of this triangle as we see this small triangle okay first I'm going to find okay the length of ED since E and D are two midpoints then ED is parallel to like this parallel to AB and and its length equal half the length of AB which is equal 4.5 centimeter this one equal 4.5 centimeters okay now I'm going to divide 6 here I will take one part and here two parts then I will divide 6 by 3 6 divided by 3 equal 2 this one equal 2 and this one 2 times 2 or double of 2 which is 4 centimeters okay the third part the third line segment okay eb eb i will divide it into two parts like this part here and two here now i'm going to divide nine because eb equals nine then i'm going to divide be divided by three then this one will equal nine divided three equal three and this one equal three times two equal six centimeters now i found all the, the lengths of all the required sides now to find the parameter of mde it will be two plus three plus four point five now i'm going to write the proof first okay since e and D R mid points therefore E B and A D R medians okay since I'm I will write this given since AD intersect BE equal m that mean m is a point of concurrence therefore m is point of concurrence therefore number one ed equal have of AB equal half times 9 equals 4.5 centimeters this is the first required okay therefore also Therefore, MD equal according to AD, it's equal one to three, equal one 
over 3 of AD equal 1 over 3 times 6 equal 2 centimeters. Okay, therefore, EM equals according to EB, it's 1 over 3. 1 over 3 EB equals 1 over 3 times 9 equals 3 centimeters. Finally, therefore, parameter of triangle MED equals 2 plus 3 plus 4.5 equals 9.5 centimeters. The next example. In this example, here we have AF intersect CD uh, uh, and R2 medians uh, in triangle ABC. AF intersect CD at M. The perimeter of triangle MAMC equal 36. Find the perimeter of triangle MDF. Triangle MFD. Okay, the shaded triangle. Now we have AMC equal 36. I need to find perimeter of triangle MDF. Okay, now I don't have the lenses of the three sides, but I have the whole perimeter. Okay, first, M is a point of concurrence. So, M divide uh, CD into the ratio 1. one to two this one and this is two okay and m also divide af to the ratio one to two and here m f equals the half of a c okay m f half a c and m f uh, uh, FD half AC and MF equal half AM then M and MD equal half CM so the perimeter of this triangle equal half the perimeter of this triangle that means the perimeter of MFD equal half of 36 which is equal 18 centimeters okay now I need to write the proof Since AF and CD are medians and AF intersect CD at M therefore M is point of concurrence okay therefore MD equal half of CM okay and MF equal half of AM this one is called one and this is 2 
Okay. Therefore, F and D are mid points. Therefore, F D equals half A C, and this is number three from one two and three therefore parameter of triangle MFD equals half triangle AMC equal half times 36 equals 18 centimeters the next example Here we have A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Okay. And E belongs to D, M. Okay. Where D, E equal to E, M. D, E, the length of D, E equal to double E, M. Okay. Here we have um, AC is a diagonal and BE is a diagonal. Then the diagonals bisect each other. That means AM equal to MC again. The diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. Okay. Draw CE to cut AD at F as we see. Prove that AF equal FD. AF equal to FD. Okay, here, according to the triangle AF uh, ADC, as we see here, this triangle by looking to this triangle. Okay. Here we have DM is a median because M is a midpoint of AC. Okay. That means and E is a point which divide E, D, M into 1 to 2. Okay. That means M, uh, E is a point of concurrence. And we know that the point of concurrence is a, the point of intersection of medians. That means C, F is a median. Therefore, A, F equal to f d okay now since a b c d is parallelogram therefore m is the mid point of AC. Then in triangle ACD, since uh, M is a mid point of AC. Therefore, DM is 
a median okay since de equal to e m and this is from this rule from this given therefore m e uh, e is point of concurrence therefore C E F is a median because any line passes through the point of concurrence comes from the vertex is a median okay and here C F comes from the vertex C and passes through E then it is a median in this triangle as we see then CF bisect AD then AF -A -A equal to FD therefore CF is a median as I see as I said therefore AF equal to df and this is the required the next example complete the following in triangle a uh, in triangle abc d is a midpoint of bc okay i will draw this triangle like this a b c D is a midpoint then AD is called what he asked here about AD this the line segment joining between vertex and the opposite opposite midpoint is median of this triangle the next one the number of medians of triangle as I said before it's three medians of triangle intersect at a point you can say that one point you can say a point of concurrence all of this are correct the ratio uh, of concurrence of medians of triangle divide each into uh, each median into the ratio what from the base from the base it's one to two from the vertex is two to one okay Number five, the point of the intersection of medians divides each of them with a ratio what to what from the base. Okay, we know that from the base is one to two. But here he starts with two. Then it will be two and it's double, which is four. Then the ratio one to two is the same as the ratio two to four. And this is the end of this lesson. I hope it was helpful for you. See you in the next video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mr. Ahmed Mahmoud was with you.